Good morning, Garrets and Gators. My name is Mrs. Bugarin. Welcome to our annual Patriot Day Assembly. We are making history as some of the members of our 2019-2020 Student Council remember this occasion virtually for the very first time. Although we are at home during this anniversary, we can still join together as a community to remember our heroes and our bravest citizens from September 11, 2001. These heroes rushed up the stairs to save lives and dreams, even as theirs came to an end. Before we begin our timeline of events, please place your right hand over your heart as Olivia Arroyo presents our national anthem. Olivia Arroyo is a fifth grader in Garrison's virtual school. When she is done, our former student council secretary, Tessa Stevens, will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. As you repeat the pledge, Think about the words as you say them. Feel their power. Listen to their strength. Find joy in knowing that you live in the United States of America, a country that believes in life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Thank you. Please make sure to put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you for listening to me say the pledge. My name is Tessa Stevens. September 11, 2001, a day in history. 19 years ago, an event happened that changed our nation. The adults on our campus remember that day, what we were doing, where we were. We grabbed our families close. We held each other tight. We cried and were scared because we didn't know how far terrorists would go to try to crush America's spirit. But we also knew that we, as educators, teachers, and even parents, we would never let anything happen to you our children, and to the future of this great country. We pledged to keep you safe and to ensure that you would be protected against anything and everything that would possibly try to hurt you. It was a tragic day, but we grew stronger as a nation. We grew proud and sure that our law enforcement, firefighters, and soldiers would not sleep in their drive to keep us safe and secure our country. We owe them a debt of gratitude and always honored. That is what today, September 11th, Patriot Day is all about. We salute you, the brave firefighters, law enforcement, and military who fight, die, and struggle for us each and every day. We honor you on this day and dedicate our lives to those who fell and who carry on for our freedom. 
It is our responsibility to be good citizens and have great character in our daily lives. God bless America and God bless you. We'd like to take a moment of silence to remember those we honor. Hi, my name is Isabel Luna, and I'm from the 2019-2020 Student Council. We'll present a brief timeline of the events that happened that day. As you listen to the events that unfolded, think about how the country came together in result of such tragedy and loss. On September 11, 2001, at 8.46 in the morning, a plane, American Airlines Flight 11, leaving from Boston, Massachusetts, carrying 92 people, crashed into the North Tower of the World Trade Center. All people aboard the plane were killed. On that same day, at 9.03 in the morning, another plane, United Airlines Flight 175, plane from Boston, Massachusetts, with 64 people on board, crashed into the South Tower of the World Trade Center. All people aboard that plane were killed. At 9.21 a.m., the Federal Aviation Administration stopped all flights at the U.S. airports. It was the first time in history that air traffic had been stopped nationwide. On 938, September 11, 2001, American Airlines Flight 77, leaving Washington, D.C., crashed into the Pentagon, killing all 64 people on board the airline. 125 people working in the Pentagon were also killed. By 945, the White House had been evacuated, fearing other attack there. At 1005, the South Tower of the World Trade Center collapsed, crushing more than 1,000 firefighters, police officers, medical responders, and civilians still trapped inside. At 10, 10 in the morning on September 11, 2001, 44 people died on board United Airlines Flight 93 when these passengers took control of the plane from El Qaeda tours heading for the White House. These 44 Heroes crashed the plane into the field of, in Somerset County, Pennsylvania, to save others in Washington, D.C. At this time, a portion of the Pentagon collapsed. Eighteen minutes later, at 1028, the North Tower of the World Trade Center collapsed, bringing the death to a total of 3,200 people from over 90 countries in the world. By 1.44 that afternoon, five warships and two aircraft carriers were ordered to patrol the east coast of the United States of America. For the first time that American warships had patrolled the U.S. coast for protection since World War II. By 4.10 that same afternoon, Building 7 of the War Train Center had collapsed making the destruction of that area of New York complete. It was a devastating day for the United States of America. Al-Qaeda terrorists had succeeded in bringing fear into the hearts of Americans across the country and changes to fight terrorism were rapidly implemented, including the creation of the Department of Homeland Security and broader implementation of airport security measures. Our country changed that day. We realized that bad men would stop at nothing to destroy us, with the heroic example set by our military men, our firefighters, and our police officers, we realize that our strength, our sacrifice, and our commitment to family, community, liberty, freedom, and honor is continue to make our country, America the beautiful, we will never forget. Greetings, Garrets and Gators. This is your proud principal, Mrs. Luna, and we are here today to celebrate one of Garrison's amazing heroes. I will share with you a quote about education and the importance of teachers in our lives. The teacher who is indeed wise does not bid you to enter the house of their own wisdom, but rather leads you to the threshold of your mind. If you have to put someone on a pedestal, put teachers. They are society's heroes. Garrison Elementary is pleased to announce the teacher of the year, Maestra Venus Bugarin. Mrs. Bugarin teaches sixth grade dual language immersion at our wonderful school, and we could not be happier that she was selected from her peers to represent Garrison Elementary as the Teacher of the Year. Congratulations, Maestra Bugarin. We appreciate you being one of our greatest heroes. 
students, families, teachers, and staff. My name is Maestra Bugarin, and I sit here along with my amazing family to thank you for the recognition of Garrison's Teacher of the Year. As you all know, 2020 has been an unbelievable year, but for me, this recognition makes it stand out above all others. It's been a year full of changes and unknowns, yet here we are, making the best of a difficult situation. We are hosting our very first virtual Patriot Day Assembly to keep the tradition alive and to bring our school and community together again. I would like to take this time to thank my family for understanding when my work takes me away from them. They help me when I need them and I couldn't do what I do without them in my corner. I am also truly humbled to receive this honor because most of the educators I work with are just as dedicated and deserving. My sixth grade colleagues should be sitting here too because everything I do, I do with them as part of a team. My team makes me better by pushing me and by showing me that I could do things I never thought I could. I have learned that being a successful teacher comes from trusting those closest around you. Having shared values, goals, and a collective responsibility to our Garrison students has been essential in helping me adjust to our remote learning during this pandemic. This pandemic has brought about challenges, no doubt, but thanks to the support system of my family, my colleagues, my students and their families, and my amazing administrators, Mrs. Luna and Mr. Eldridge, I will continue to do what I think is best for our Garrison students. I am very appreciative of everything my students teach me and will continue to teach me in the years to come. I look forward to returning to school in the near future and to seeing them all again in person once again. Thank you again for this amazing recognition. I am proud to be a Garrison teacher and I am grateful to have the opportunity to work with such wonderful students and hardworking educators. From one Gator family to the other, Go, go Gators! Gators! desk of an elementary school and to be successful in that role take somebody who is knowledgeable, dependable, and has a tremendous work ethic. To work at the front desk of an elementary school like Garrettson Elementary, take somebody who is also calm, kind, and, a, and an amazing team leader. Our classified employee of the year, Belinda Capilla, emphasizes all of those things and so much more. She provides first class customer care to each and every person that enters our school office. She is often the very first person people see when they come to register their students and often the very last person they will see if they are withdrawing their students. She helps families at times when they're bringing in celebration things. She also helps families sometimes when they are at their neediest moments. A quote from Simon Sinek says, a team is not a group of people who work together. A team is a group of people who trust each other. Belinda is a leader in our office. She is a role model on campus. I, I am proud each and every day to come in and have the opportunity to work with her and say good morning. And she is often the last person I see when I leave the office at night. It is our pleasure and a great honor to nominate and announce Belinda Capilla for our Classified Employee of the Year. Hi everyone, this is Ms. Belinda from the school office. I'm so proud to be Classified Employee of the Year for Gerritsen this year. I love everything about Gerritsen, the people I work with, our principals, the teachers, and our families. This is my family. They support me in my service to the community. I miss you guys and I hope to see you soon. Saludos amigos. Soy la señora Belinda de la escuela, en la oficina trabajo. Soy la empleada clasificada del año de Garrettson y estoy muy orgullosa. Amo todo lo que es Garrettson, especialmente las familias de Garrettson. Esta es mi familia, me apoyan en mi servicio a la comunidad. Los extraño mucho, los espero ver pronto. Cuídense. Hasta luego. Bye. Bye.